the first automobile and the weight of skepticism. Yo, it's Dr. Cool Auto Fix. This is so unbelievably lovely. We are about to witness history replaying itself in the most fascinating way. And even more importantly, Africa is about to make the Western automotive and energy industry look like armature in the ream of innovation and technology. Buckle up folks because the ground beneath their feet is trembling. This is moment of the truth everyone is waiting for. A final nail that will decide the fate of humanity, the final nail that will silence destructive skepticism. Maxwell Chikumbuzo, a high school dropout, self-taught engineer, has decided to set a new record that may put to an end the energy crisis and pull people out of poverty. If this even goes successfully, Africa will be going home with the crown, as the new king of modern innovation in energy and automotive industry. My faith is sealed, and my African hope and faith lies on this moment. The year was 1886. Carl Benz unveiled a curious contraption, a motorized tricycle. This was no ordinary vehicle. It was the Benz patent motor wagon, the world's first automobile. People scoffed, they ridiculed. The very idea of a horseless carriage was met with derision. It was seen as impractical, dangerous, even ludicrous. Benz's invention, however, carried the seeds of a revolution. Public opinion began to shift in 1888. Bertha Benz, Carl's wife, embarked on a daring journey. She drove the motor wagon from Mannheim to Pforzheim, a distance of over 100 kilometers. This was no leisurely drive. The roads were rough, the technology untested. Bertha's journey was a testament to her belief in her husband's invention. This audacious act silenced many critics. The world began to see the potential of the automobile. Bertha Benz's drive was a pivotal moment in automotive history. It proved that the impossible was indeed possible. It also highlighted a recurring theme in human progress. Skepticism often greets groundbreaking innovation. Over a century later, a new inventor emerges, echoing the audacity of the Benzes. His name is Maxwell Chikumbuzo and he hails from Zimbabwe. Chikumbuzo claims to have developed a car that runs without fuel. This fuel-free car is at the heart of a bold proposition, a road trip from Harare, Zimbabwe to Cairo, Egypt. Uh, to Cairo, live on TV, everyone watch That would be enough for Oh my god, that is surely a very bold way to prove the tech works. But the route has not been discussed yet. This is estimated to be 7,199 kilometers journey, and that's 4 days and 15 hours. Although the route has not been discussed yet, the shortest route will run through Zambia, Tanzania, Kenya, and Sudan. So if you are close to this area, clean your ears. This journey can be well likened to the birth of Ben's journey in 1888 that pushed Benz into the hardest moment of skepticism. All skeptics who can, should endeavor to attend, so you can have something different to say in our comment section. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's claim is as audacious as it is intriguing. He asserts that his car is powered by radio waves. This energy source he claims is abundant and free. If true, his invention could revolutionize transportation. It could liberate us from our dependence on fossil fuels. To demonstrate the capabilities of his creation, Chikumbuzo has announced an ambitious plan. He intends to drive his car from Harare, Zimbabwe to Cairo, Egypt. This transcontinental journey spans over 7,580 kilometers. It will traverse diverse terrains and climates. If successful, the trip will be a powerful testament to the car's capabilities. The world watches with a mixture of anticipation and skepticism. Could this be the dawn of a new era in automotive technology, or is it merely an elaborate hoax? The Zimbabwe Cairo expedition is a high-stakes gamble. It could either catapult Chikumbuzo into the annals of history or expose him as a charlatan. The choice of Cairo as the destination is not arbitrary. It is a deliberate decision imbued with symbolism. Cairo is the cradle of one of the world's oldest civilizations. It is a city steeped in history, a place where ancient wisdom meets modern ingenuity. Cairo is a city of contrasts. Ancient pyramids stand tall against modern skyscrapers. The bustling Khan El Khalili market with its vibrant stalls sits near the Cairo Opera House, a beacon of contemporary arts. This juxtaposition reflects Cairo's essence, history interwoven with the present. For centuries Cairo has been a hub of knowledge. The ancient Egyptians were renowned for their advancements. Their legacy is etched in the pyramids and the Sphinx. Chikumbuzo's journey to Cairo parallels ancient achievements. He positions himself as an heir to a legacy of scientific inquiry. The journey from Africa to Egypt symbolizes a technological challenge. The distance between Harare and Cairo dwarfs current electric vehicle ranges. Tesla's top models boast a range of around 600 kilometers. Chikumbuzo's claimed range, if true, would be over 12 times greater. Range anxiety, the fear of running out of battery charge before reaching a charging station, is a major deterrent for many prospective electric car buyers. 
It is a limitation imposed by current battery technology, a hurdle that engineers and scientists are working tirelessly to overcome. Chikumbutso's claim, if true, would render range anxiety a relic of the past. A car that can travel over 7,500 kilometers would be a game changer. It would eliminate the need for frequent charging stops, making long-distance travel in electric vehicles a truly viable option. Imagine a world where road trips are no longer dictated by the availability of charging stations. Imagine driving from Cape Town to Cairo, from Lisbon to Moscow, from New York to Los Angeles, without ever having to stop to refuel or recharge. This is the future that Chikumbutso's claimed technology promises. However, such a revolutionary claim demands rigorous scrutiny. The scientific community, ever wary of extraordinary claims without extraordinary evidence, has met Chikumbutso's assertions with a healthy dose of skepticism. And skepticism in the realm of science is not a sign of dismissal but rather a call for further investigation. Science or Spectacle The controversy surrounding Chikumbutso's claims Chikumbutso's claims have ignited a firestorm of debate. Critics argue his technology defies the laws of physics. They cite the law of conservation of energy. Extracting energy from radio waves requires an energy source. Energy conversion is never 100% efficient. His car powered by radio waves defies these principles. Proponents argue he's exploring new scientific realms. History shows many once impossible inventions are now real. The debate highlights the balance between skepticism and open-mindedness. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Chikumbutso's endeavor sparks a broader conversation about innovation in Africa. A catalyst for change African innovation and the global stage. For too long, Africa has been relegated to the sidelines of the global innovation narrative. The continent is often portrayed through a lens of poverty, conflict and disease, overshadowing the ingenuity and resilience of its people. Chikumbutso's story, regardless of its veracity, serves as a powerful counter-narrative. It is a reminder that Africa is a continent brimming with talent and potential. From the bustling tech hubs of Lagos and Nairobi to the innovative agricultural solutions being developed in rural communities, Africa is a hotbed of creativity and problem-solving. Chikumbutso's fuel-free car, whether a genuine breakthrough or an elaborate illusion, has captured the imagination of people around the world. It has sparked a conversation about the future of transportation, the limits of science, and the role of Africa in shaping the 21st century. This newfound attention, however, comes with a responsibility. It is crucial that the global community engages with African innovation in a way that is respectful, equitable, and mutually beneficial. We must move beyond the narrative of Africa rising to a reality where African nations are equal partners in shaping the future of our planet. The skepticism surrounding Chikumbutso's claims is a necessary component of the scientific process. It is through rigorous testing, independent verification, and open debate that we separate genuine breakthroughs from false promises. The burden of proof skepticism, excitement, and the scientific method. The scientific method is not about blind faith or dismissal. It is about approaching claims with a healthy dose of skepticism and a willingness to follow the evidence wherever it may lead. Chikumbutso's claims, like any scientific claims, must be subjected to rigorous testing and scrutiny. Peer review, replication of results, and independent verification are all crucial components of this process. If Chikumbutso's technology withstands this scrutiny, it will have profound implications for the world. If it does not, the lessons learned from this endeavor will still prove valuable. The excitement surrounding Chikumbutso's claims is understandable. The prospect of a car that runs without fuel, that defies the limitations of current technology, is alluring. However, it is important to temper this excitement with a healthy dose of skepticism. Extraordinary claims, as Carl Sagan reminded us, require extraordinary evidence. The burden of proof lies with Chikumbutso and his team. They must provide the scientific community with the evidence needed to evaluate their claims objectively. This includes detailed technical specifications of their technology, the results of independent testing conducted by reputable institutions, and a willingness to engage in open and transparent dialogue with the scientific community. Whether or not Chikumbutso's car lives up to its billing, the endeavor itself is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the audacity to dream big. Beyond the horizon, a legacy of inspiration regardless of the outcome. Regardless of the ultimate outcome of Chikumbutso's endeavor, his story serves as a source of inspiration for aspiring innovators, particularly in Africa. It is a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge, the courage to challenge conventional wisdom, and the determination to push the boundaries of what is possible are universal aspirations. Chikumbutso's story, whether it ends in triumph or disappointment, is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the enduring allure of the unknown. It is a reminder that the pursuit of knowledge, 
the courage to challenge conventional wisdom, and the determination to push the boundaries of what is possible are not bound by geography, ethnicity, or socioeconomic status. They are universal aspirations woven into the very fabric of our shared humanity. As we look to the future, let us embrace the spirit of inquiry, the pursuit of knowledge, and the audacity to dream big. Let us create a world where innovation flourishes, where skepticism is a catalyst for discovery, and where the impossible is merely a challenge waiting to be overcome. When is the date? Which route will they drive? Well, I will tell you what I know, this information is not yet made available to the public yet, due to security concerns, I guess. However, we will keep you updated when history begins to play. Be sure to like this video, smash that subscribe button, share this video with your friends, engage with me one-on-one -on -one in the comment section. By so doing, we will take back our world from oil giants' cooperation and government. As always, I am Dr. Cool. Now if you will excuse me, I have self-powered car to drive and a flight to catch. Stay cool, stay positive, and most importantly, stay alive. See you in the comments section.